Well, hello, welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. I hope you like what you see and I hope you stick around. To all my returning subscribers or my returning people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get right to it. What are we doing today? Well, today is going to be something super, 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 super easy. I don't even have to spend a whole lot of time talking about it. Uh, a while back, I made um, this recipe called crack chicken, and we were just raving about it. They're still talking about it. So now, mind you, I've already made the meal, so this is different than what's in the video because I forgot to do the intro, but they were raving about it. And then I came across this recipe for crack chicken egg rolls. And we love egg rolls around here. Anything rolled up in an egg roll and fried, yummy, yummy, yummy. So that's what I made. So let's get it, let's go, let me show you what I did. Come on. All right, here's what you're gonna need to make the cracked chicken egg rolls. The entirety of the meal that I'm making is still under $10, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So, the things I bought, I bought the chicken. I bought that the other day because it was buy one, get one, half off. So I snapped it up for two, I think it was like $2.50. It was, I, don't, I don't know if it was $5 exactly, but it was something like that. So $2.50 for the chicken. Um, I had to buy the egg rolls. I'll put the price up because I don't remember how much that is. And I had to buy the cheese. Everything else I already had on hand. The cream cheese, this is half of something that I, you know, we were already using. The bacon is from breakfast yesterday. If a recipe calls for bacon, I don't necessarily run out and buy an $8 pack of bacon. I always have bacon bits in the house, and a lot of times you can cheaply swap that out. Um, it, and you're going to need some uh, ranch dressing. I can't buy ranch dressing because of Eric's food allergy, so I make my own. So that was a savings right there. And then these two are Eric's plant-based cheese. So that's what we got for the cracked chicken egg roll. Now let me show you what we're going to do for a side. Okay, this is what we're going to serve with it. We're going to make some coleslaw to go with it. I figure egg roll, coleslaw, kind of goes together, right? A lot of times you put cabbage in there. So what you're going to need is about a cupish of mayonnaise, uh, some cabbage of some type, either a head of cabbage or the quick and easy kind I just got, some sugar, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and that's it. Now, uh, this I'm adding an extra because it already is in there but it's my last one. It's sitting around, just hanging around in my refrigerator. So I thought I would throw that carrot in as well. So let's get busy on this, the coleslaw, get that started first. First thing I'm gonna do is get the coleslaw out of the bag and rinse it. Um, and then I'm gonna shred up that uh, carrot. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just doing that. Should have put a towel down because it's sliding everywhere. But that's what I'm going to do because I want them, you know, with some bite to it. So let me finish that. Okay, so I have that little bit of carrot shredded up. I'm going to put my, uh, I hope I got a big enough bowl. I got the little bowl instead of the bigger bowl. Uh, I'm going to put the, the, matter of fact, hold on a second. I'm going to mix that into here before I pour it in. Okay, so I got the bigger bowl out. I, I mixed it together with the uh, cabbage, best I could anyway. I like a lot of carrot in my, cap, in my cabbage, in my coleslaw. I don't know why, I just do. And the fact that I had one carrot in there tells me I needed that carrot. All right, so in she goes. This is quick and easy. You're gonna put in about a third cup of sugar. I didn't put it all in there just yet. That helps start breaking it down. 
and all that jazz. Third cup just seems like so much, but that's what the recipe says. I didn't use the whole third cup though. I stopped short of it. Two tablespoons apple cider vinegar. One and a half teaspoons lemon juice. You're gonna salt and pepper to taste, but the recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. So let me get that out. Eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And a full cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to, I always start a little bit light. Because sometimes you don't always need everything you have. You know, they, the recipe I'm following may have used a whole head of cabbage. And I'm using half a head in this bag. I don't know. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that's what it could be. So, just going to mix that through. And we're going to see how that is. We'll give it a little bit of a taste. And then we'll put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for the re remainder of the day. So that's nice and yummy when the kids get home from school. See, it has a lot of mayonnaise in it already. And I didn't even use the whole thing. I'm not a patient person, but when it comes to stuff like this, I've done it so many times where I've had too much mayonnaise or too much of whatever the other liquid was that I just, I just don't. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. Can you see how it's, you'll see it breaking down the liquid at the bottom and stuff there. So, yeah, I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to put that mayonnaise back in the jar yet. I'm going to just cover it up, put it in the refrigerator. I don't think I'm going to need it, but just in case. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a taste to see what's going on with it. Clearly it's not ready, but if we just get a little bit of a taste, we'll get an idea of what's going on with the flavors. That's a big old taste, but okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not adding anything else to that. That's delicious. So that was more like three quarters of a cup. I'm not adding any more mayonnaise. Sorry, I still have food in my mouth. I hate talking with food in my mouth. And I do it all the time on this channel. It's not something I do ordinarily. So that's going to go in the refrigerator until the kids get home. It also, whoops, it also called for a third cup of sugar. And I didn't even use the whole third cup. I used a little more than half. Three quarters of it in the refrigerator. Now that. I'm going to get to shredding up that chicken. Um, I have done the put it in a bag trick and, you know, zhuzh it around in a Ziploc baggie so your fingers don't get nasty. But that seems to work better on warm chicken than it does on cold chicken. And this has been in my refrigerator, so I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'll shred it up. Let me get these gloves off and get over to the stove. I'm getting ahead of myself. I have to pause because I need to shred the chicken. And um, I have some of these green onion. I'm going to chop that up instead of regular onion. I'm going to use that. All chopped up. Now, I'm probably not going to use all of that, but I was, I was shredding it anyway. So I'll just shred it. And whatever I don't use, put it in the Ziploc baggie and we already have it ready for the next time. Okay, so I put a little bit of oil in the pan because my chicken is ice cold or almost ice cold. It's been sitting on a counter for a couple of minutes, but not long enough to warm up. So I'm going to add the chicken in. The recipe calls for a cup and a half. Um, I just peeled everything up because whatever I don't use, I'll put in the freezer. So I doubled it. I'm going to warm this chicken through. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not cooking it. I'm just trying to get it warm. And I don't like reheating chicken and stuff in the microwave. It gets a funny smell. It gets a funny taste. And I won't eat it. All right. Here's where you start adding things. I'm going to tell you this. You're going to dump in the seasoning and the bacon and the cream cheese and all of that. I can't do it that way. Because I have to get some out for Eric. 
So what I'm going to do is everything but the cream cheese. You know, there's a way of getting around that cream cheese. I forgot I was going to mention this before uh, at the intro. Uh, if you don't have cream cheese, just use the ranch dressing like the wet ranch. Like the wet ranch dressing. That was really hard for me to say. So anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I have the seasoning packs. Well, my seasoning that I made. And I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons in there. Two tablespoons in there. I think that's equivalent to a whole pack, just a little bit extra, just in case. I'm gonna mix that through, and then we're gonna take this bacon that I have that was left over. I think it was like, maybe, I, I'm not sure if it was three, it was something at a piece. So I don't know if it was three at a piece or two at a piece, but that's what that is. I think it might've been two at a piece, so almost three. We're gonna get that. Now, my heat is off right now. I just warmed the chicken. I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. I was gonna use just the bacon bits, but since I had those leftover pieces, I decided, what the hey? That was a lot of bacon, though. I figure, what the hey? Just go for it. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna pull some of this out of the pan for Eric before we move on to adding the cream cheese and uh, all that jazz. Before I start on ours, I took some out for Eric. I'm gonna use this cream cheese, oops, and this cheddar cheese for him. I'm gonna do his off camera and then I'll be back and show you how to do ours. And it's the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna put in about a half a block of cream cheese because I'm afraid it's gonna be too much and I have put too much cream cheese in before a recipe and it was not good. So, I'm even scared to do the half a block, but I'll do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in the half a block and this was three and a half cups, but some went over to Eric, so I would probably say it's maybe three cups in here right now. And we're gonna start melting that down. And what else am I missing? The bacon, oh, Eric said, and the kid said, add more of this bacon. Okay, that little bit made the difference, all right. I have to show you Eric's, looks like, oh, it's Oh, not really. Kind of looks like doo-doo right now, but that's because I piled it up high and stuck it over here. But we're just going to melt this through. And I, after shredding the cheese, it was an eight ounce block. After shredding the cheese, it came, this is two, out, two cups of the shredded cheese. So that's four ounces. But I want to get this in here melted real quick um, and get it going because it looks kind of dry. Let me get that mixed through. Show you a trick to so move it along. Not a lot, just as water. Just a little bit. It's down there. It'll loosen things right up. See? No, you can't see, but I can. It needed more water than that. I went too light. There we go. Keep mixing, keep mixing. I'm gonna put about half of this cheese in here because I want it mixed through. Probably could use a little bit more of that cream cheese, but I'll see as we go. It definitely needs a little bit of water though to keep it moving. All right, let me melt that down. Adding a little more of the cheese. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more of the, the cream cheese in here. It's not loosening up like I like. Let me get some of that. A little more of the cream cheese. 
That was three quarters of the block I used. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off because it's good and hot. I just want to work it through. Much better now. It's looser. It was just still a little bit too tight, I guess. I don't know how to explain what I was looking at. Too dry? I don't know. But, you know what? I'm just going to add the rest of that cheese in there and call it a day. And then we're going to start assembling with or without this cheese melting. Because then it will melt while we, while we fry it up. Oh, I am going to pan fry it. I'm going to shallow fry it because it uses less um, oil that way. Or you can, or you can air fry it. I don't know. Try not let it ball up because it's got all that cheese in there. It tightens up on you. All right, let's move on over to the counter and start rolling. All right, that's not dirty. I already did Eric's. Try to get a piece off. A lot of people say use cornstarch and things like that. I don't find that I have any problem with these egg rolls because they already have flour on them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spoonful, about a tablespoon or so, um, or more, one of, these, one of these kind of spoons, not like a actual, let me see if it is an actual tablespoon, let me see. Okay, so one of those big spoons worth is two tablespoons. I just wanted to be, you know, exact on what I'm telling you that I'm doing, but now it's all balled up nice and tight. I want to loosen it out a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to, having done that, I messed it up a little bit. Let me just put a little piece more down there. Uh, you're going to take your fingers in some water and you're going to run it around the edge. Just like that. Oh, I forgot. My kid said, make it extra cheesy, Grandma. I'm putting a little bit of the green onion in there. So I told them I would add extra, extra cheese in theirs. So what I'm going to do, even though it's cheesy enough, on each one, I'm just going to add a little sprig of that right there. And if that's not enough for them, I don't know what to tell them. But then you can either do it this way. You can do it this way, like fold the corners in first. Some people do it this way. Or you fold the point over first. Does it really matter? Whatever floats your boat, whatever gets you to where we're going, right? Boom. Done. Now I take an extra dip dip right there. That's it completely done. Now I'm going to do a whole bunch more and I'll be back when those are done. Okay, that made 17 egg rolls. Three for Eric, the rest for everybody else. He said he only wanted three. Okay, time to start adding the egg rolls. Ouch, I burnt myself. That fast, I burnt myself. And they go very carefully. I shallow fry mine. I try to save some of the oil that way. Um, seam side down. And then what I do is I get a little spoon, which I didn't have handy. And I kind of like boop, boop like that to get it going. So it's, oops, I don't throw it out of the pan like I just did. This one's open on the end. I'm hoping it doesn't burst open in the pan. So it should take a couple of minutes each side to brown up. I have the heat down low. I may need to turn it up a little bit. I don't know yet. These first two will tell me. It does need to go up a little bit. Turn it up a hair. I want a soft fry, but I don't want a hard fry. Let me see if it's ready to roll over yet. Oh yeah. It's not as golden as I like, but I can roll it over. Because I can always roll it back to finish up the other side when it gets closer to temp. Because I don't want this first couple to suck up a bunch of grease.
keep some room in between see how they're getting nice and golden it's all you're gonna do and a lot of times I'll stand them up and do the ends as well let's get those cooking and we'll get the first two get the first three out of the way and then we'll do better a nice and golden brown they are that's what you're looking for just right there let me take these out of the pan and I'll show you why now that the uh, oil is to temperature okay so I got those out you see how that went real quick like that that's how I wanted it I think I'm gonna do four at a time Should only take like a minute or two because everything's cooked inside we're just trying to heat it up and cook the egg roll i'm going to do this in real time hopefully i don't run out of room on my sd card because it's getting low maybe i won't i'll just time it okay that was a minute and a half to get like that i just kind of like spooned some on top like i did the other ones to help it cook that was one and a half minutes. So they're total, they're going to take about three minutes if you have your pan set properly. There we go. And give that about another minute. And that'll be done. That was another a little bit more than a minute, but not quite a minute and a half on the other side. And that's what they look like. Let me finish these up. Ooh, almost could reach it. Oh, you see that? Almost rolled right out of the pan onto the floor. We're going to leave that one there. All right, let me finish these up, and I'll show you them when they're all done. We're all done. I'm going to show you my plate, and then we're going to meet at the table. And there they go. I'm going to plate up. And I'll be right back. And there's my plate. Looking yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm going to meet you at the table. Oh, thank you, Eric. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We're at the table. Yummy, yummy, yummy. My plate, I, you can't see it over there, but you'll see it before this. What do you want to start with? The egg roll or the coleslaw? Coleslaw. Coleslaw, all right. He's not had it, so. Ready? Mm -hmm. I haven't had it since this morning. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Mmm. It still has a lot of bite left to it, too. The cabbage is not real soggy. That's really good. I like that, right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had coleslaw before? I don't believe so. I don't think he has, and I don't know why, but I just don't think he has. Hmm. All right. So I have my egg roll already cut in half. I have ranch. Eric didn't want to dip his in ranch. We're going to taste it first. He has some, um, what's that called? Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. He said he wants that. So we're going to take a little taste first. Okay. Go ahead. I still got to swallow. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. It's got a lot of cheese in it. I really like Mm-hmm. It's super good. All right. No way on earth I'm dipping anything in that. So I'm going to go for the ranch, and you can go for that. And tell me how, you tell them how it tastes. Go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. I like it both ways. I like it better plain. Plain? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me swallow first. There you have it. I hope you try it. And I'll see you at the wrap up.
Bye bye. Dinner's over. How'd they do? Boom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left, but only four of us are here. Uh, Trey is at work. Yaya's not here. But let's see what they thought about it. Tyler, what did you think about dinner? I loved it so much that I want to eat more. There you have it. He's going to have more. Aiden, what did you think about dinner? I loved it. Eric, what did you think about dinner? It was amazing. Tina, what did you think about dinner? I'm glad you asked. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, it was a little heavy, so they're very filling, but I did like it a lot. So there you have it. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And leave me a comment either way. See you later. Bye.